Hey, what's up? My name is Dane Tudor. I'm a professional free skier and crossover mountain biker for Scott Sports. I've got something really exciting to share with you today. And here it is, the brand new Scott Genius E-Ride. I'm really excited about this bike. I've been uh, wanting an electric bike for a few years now. And one of the main reasons I was interested in the bike was for just general commuting. I live in a beautiful town and we've got a lot of hills and I just really didn't want to drive my vehicle all the time, which is what led me towards the electric bicycle. It enables me to get to the top of town and to our trail network that much faster and using less energy. So overall, I'm able to ride that much further in a day and enjoy many more downs than I normally would. And another really great bonus is that it comes in this awesome genius frame, full suspension, 150 millimeters of travel, and uh, has great performance on the trails. Let's get out on the trails and see what makes this Scott Genius E-Ride so sick. So my favorite thing about the Genius E-Ride is the new Shimano E8000 electric assist. It's pretty amazing what this bike can do. It has three different assist modes, Eco, Trail, and Boost. I spend most of my time riding in Eco because it really enables me to go the distance. I'll use Trail from time to time when it gets really steep and I just need that extra bit of power to get up those technical sections. Boost is reserved for pretty much the most difficult sections on the trail, like the spots that you just straight up can't do without something like an electric assist. Contrary to popular belief, e-bikes are for more than just trail riding. They're for straight up shredding. So I've found there's a bit of misconception when it comes to e-bikes. People will say, oh, cheater bike or lazy. And I really don't see it that way. This bike has been amazing and has enabled me to go further and ride downhill more. It is awesome. And it really hasn't changed my level of fitness. If anything, I think it's actually beneficial for fitness because when your legs are spinning, you don't have to use as much straight up power, which enables you to save your energy while still utilizing your cardio system. It's pretty wicked. One of my favorite things about the Scott bikes is the twin lock lever system. It's amazing. It enables you to shift between trail mode and full lockout mode between your fork and your shock at the same time. So super awesome for climbing. I spend most of my time in trail mode on the climbs. Uh, it still enables undulation over rocks and bumps and gives me good traction control. I use lockout if I want to stand up and pedal like crazy, but uh, normally I just stick to trail mode. A few little trick tips. I have adjusted the suspension. I'm running six volume spacers in the fork. A maximum is seven, so getting pretty high up there. I've got 76 PSI in the fork and I think I'm running somewhere between 196 to 200 PSI in the shock. So you're definitely going to have to play with the suspension a little bit given the fact that the bike is quite heavy. Um, you really don't notice the weight on the trail. It's more just when it comes down to the suspension, you're really going to have to ramp it up in the bottom of the stroke. I'm really excited about electric bikes. I think they're the future, and I think they're gonna change the game. It's pretty insane what you can do on these bikes, how far you can go, and the type of terrain that you can ride. So expect to see great things in the future, and check out more on Scott's website.